evening and welcome to Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. From the campus of Millis High School in Millis, Massachusetts, we bring you some boys, boys varsity basketball tonight as your Millis Mohawks play host to the Westwood Wolverines. Alongside Zach Golden, I'm Doug Coots, and we are high above the courtside here at the Andy Merrick Gymnasium, ready for this Tri-Valley League contest. Makeup game from earlier in the season on Wednesday night. Fine crowd on here on hand here tonight. Your Mohawks in their white home kits going right to left on your media device with the Westwood Wolverines in their green away kits going left to right. We thank you for watching on whatever device and media platform that you are watching us on. We appreciate the men and women back in the studio for Helen SB here and the administrators that Make sure we can be here in the gym. Anthony Coots' first shot is back iron and no with Coots, Hart, Catalano, Quinzani, Fiala. You are five Mohawks on the court right now. Three-pointer is off, but the Wolverines chase down the rebound. Fiala defending, well played there, but they can't contain the length of the Wolverines inside as Brendan Donegan had perhaps three or four bites at the apple there. Finally chomping one down off the glass. And it is the Wolverines on top opening the scoring. Quinzani, top of the key, finds a cutting heart. Off of your Mohawks and out of play. Hart had his mask knocked off during that. Not enough for a foul. And we are back to pseudo live action. Three-pointer from Russell Delabany is good. Wolverines to five, Catalano at the elbow. His shot is good. So Jack Catalano opening the scoring for your Mohawks. And it's 5-2 here in the orderly going. Student section is bulging tonight. We appreciate their support. Gonna have to do something about D Delabany, his second three-pointer, this time from the baseline. Who steps inside. Delabany stuck a leg out. And he is charged with it, called for his first foul of the ball game. Coots makes good on the second, so Mohawks to three. Delabany running on that far side again to that same baseline spot he was just in. This time the shot will come from top of the key. It's so hard to rebound those three pointers. They come off, often come off long. And so given the second opportunity, Noon knocks that down. On again from the elbow, Westwood, the only time they've missed, they've been able to get the rebound, so with 5.08 left in the first, it's the Wolverines out front. And back from a Mohawk timeout, Wolverines out to a 
13-3 lead. They haven't missed much, and when they have, they've gotten the offensive rebound. Brendan Davis into the game for your Mohawks. Mohawks break the press. Ball is spilled. Not sure what the whistle was for. Perhaps for using his voice. It didn't seem to be any contact from this side. We'll have to roll that one back, Zach. Westwood certainly doesn't need any help in this game. And a, and a BDL comes out from the crowd. It's a Krista Berg kind of night, although that was the other one. Foul charge to Fiala, who seemed to just be in good position. Only forward, Zach, only forward, right? Charlie Lindbergh at the scorer's table and he will check into the ball game. to get that ball in with the length of the Wolverines. Davis coming free and he lays it in. So Brendan Davis. Walks oh, able to get that one in and get, get the easy bucket. Although nothing's ever easy, still has to be converted. Hart with the rebound there. It comes streaking through. I mean, that's what a foul looks like. RJ Cauley committing that foul. Another uh, turnover. Al Murray with the bucket. Westwood's going to keep it aggressive until the fouls start coming. Catalano with the J. Mohawks to seven. Cut it to nine. Single digits. See if the defense can respond here. And an inadvertent touch ends up with the ball going right to Kyle Murray under the basket. Certainly not how they drew it up. Davis again. Absorbing the contact and gets it to go. So Brendan Davis with a couple of buckets. He's got four. Mohawks halving the lead. Noon with his second three-pointer. Oh, it's not going to make it there. So with 2.44 to go, a timeout on the floor. Back from a timeout, Lindbergh, Catalano, Coots, Davis, and Hart, your five. Decided to pass at the last minute. Coots able to rescue it. Finds Hart. Thought about it. He steps into the lane. His foul line jumper is good, but his foot slipped under him. So fifth turnover. Right. 
Davis gets a hand to it and prevents the pick and roll. Lindbergh picks up his dribble. Mohawk's going to have to prevent the run out. Starts with the turnovers. Coots finding Hart. A lot of contact there. Can't get it to go. He draws the whistle. Committed by. Mm -hmm. Should sure I put it on the board yet? Maybe they did. I missed one. Sorry about that, Zach. Ah, oh, there it goes. I thought so. Uh, Max Jacobson committing that file. Foul. Jack Halloran into the game for your Mohawks. All right, converts the second. Mohawks into double digits. Andy Hatch into the ball game for your Mohawks. 138 to go. Halloran grabbing the rebound quickly to Catalano. Lindbergh for the open three. Won't go down. Hatch with the rebound. Perhaps the Wolverines are cooling down a bit here. Cutting Catalano, fall away. Tough shot with a big in his, in his face. Well defended by Hatch, and he gets the rebound. He'll bring it up over the timeline. Gets it to Davis, looking for a point card here. To Catalano. Back iron with that shot, just won't go. Marines can hold for the final shot. Halloran fighting through that pick. Lindbergh with a steal to the ground. Neither official really looking at that, so we've reached the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, it is Westwood 27-10. Players coming onto the court for the second quarter. It is Hatch, Quinzani, Lindbergh, Fiala, and Coots, your five Mohawks starting this frame. Mohawks turning the ball over seven times in that quarter, that first quarter by my count. Charge to Quinzani. Sean Callahan to the line, misses the first. Connects on the second. Hatch to Guinzani on the block. A lot of contact there and a whistle.
Jacobson with his second foul will send Quinzani to the line for a pair. Carlson Cantoregi into the ball game for your Mohawks. Donnie, one of two, Mohawks to 11. It's one to one in this quarter, Zach. A lot of steps there, for sure. Donnie with the ball to the floor. Very close to picking up the run for it. Came to Reggie to, to Lindbergh, finding Coots just too high, but Hatch will rescue it. Still plenty of time, 18 on the shot clock. Lindbergh with a late dish. Did not find its intended target. Pick and roll to a three-point opportunity. Patrick Casavant. Immediate steal and foul. That one charged to Canareggi. to the game for your Mohawks. Kasavant will have a second and he is short, but he will get his own rebound. And the story of the night when the Wolverines miss, they get the rebound, another miss and rebound. Another miss and rebound. Defended there. This has to be, and it is. Maybe that's part of the uh, reason, Zach. A lot of uh, activity in the back. That foul charge called on Gannon. His first team fifth. Mohawks with three. Catalano into the game. Let's see if the Mohawks can. What they can do here. And Coot springs free. And to the hoop and some contact. And the foul. Brian Cole committing that foul. So that's six. Wolverine's at the limit. This will be a two shot situation. And Coots will knock that back. Hart is back into the ball game for the home side. And Coots knocks them both back. Palindrome City here, Zach, 13-31. That ball is not gonna find its target. An offensive series at a time. Coots will drive to the left. That's Halloran. Hart into the lane and he scores. So Adam Hart, first bucket from the field. Sadly takes us off the palindrome though, Zach. Another turnover. Yeah. 
RJ Cawley back in for the visitors. Five twenty-one left in the half. Boots to the hoop again and to the ground. Holly committing his second, so foul starting to mount on the Wolverines. Mohawks doing well, getting taking the ball to the hoop. Gets them both this time as well. He's got five, all five from the line. Brendan Davis into the game. Mohawks a bit of a spurt here. Six. Oh, run. Ball blocked by Coots. Held his ground, kept his arms tall. And he returned that one to sender. Out of bounds to the Wolverines. Ball is stolen. And right back, hold my soda. Nice play, knocking it off the Wolverines. Adam Hart definitely knocked it off of Westwood. They're turning around and walking back. I have a feeling we may end up with a uh, the jump ball here. It's in that corner where neither official was. They're talking it over. And body, body language alone, nicely done that, that time. Good hustle by the Mohawks to actually get one there and to get the call. No, I can be harsh, but well done by the officials to talk it over. And uh, at least with my Mohawk colored glasses on, get it right, huh, Zach? <laughs> Got a line of the heart. He is fouled in the process of that. It should be three. A little overzealous by Cole there. He commits his second foul, so. Eight fouls on the Wolverines. See if the Mohawks can make them pay at the line. They're inching back into this game. Hart rattles that one home. Got two more shots coming. Mass, uh, mass substitutions at the scorer's table for the Wolverines. Four on, four off. Apologies for uh, just looking down at my score sheet. Didn't get the numbers. So two of three for Hart from the line. Mohawks to 19. 8 0 run. Use another defensive stop here. Left open in the corner, three pointer. Fumbles around. It's so frustrating. Mohawks just can't get a hand to it. And this time Hart will get it at half court. Absorb some contact from behind. Not sure what more he could have done there. This was out of control from the push from behind, perhaps unseen. So foul charge to Hart there. Mohawks can't capitalize on, uh, on that one. Just past the midway part of this quarter. Davis with a good box out and rebound. One and done that time. 
another foul. It's okay. It's, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Lindbergh into the game. Foul committed by Noon. So ninth. This is a one and one here, but double bonus for the rest of the half. Catalano to the line, and he earned oh, everything but dropped right there. I thought it was down, Zach. Davis gets a hand to it and knocks it away. Catalano. Lindbergh, top of the key, jumper in stride, no good. Good look, looks on target, just a little short. Three and change to go here in the second. Off the backboard, no, Hart with the rebound. Mohawks quickly up the court. Lindbergh to Davis, he'll drive the baseline, spin, who so has some contact, no good. Knocks it to Coots, who ends up getting it back to Davis. He's pushing it, rattles up, and it will not fall. Nasser got excited there. Davis and Coots not giving up on that one. So the 10th team foul, Noon with his second. And it is Davis with a pair, and he drops the first one down. He has five. And Davis gets them both. Ten nothing run for the Mohawks, chipping away almost all of them from the foul line. A good aggressive foul that time. Second, damn, looking. Looks like they'll charge that one to Davis. And up and down for Murray, so. turned over and Hart good rebound so Mohawks another offensive foul called you rarely see that but now you've seen two on four trips down the floor that one charged to Catalano hopefully you're not trying to even out the fouls here it's just going to the hoop couldn't tell from our angle if his feet were set. Catalano with the seal. And this time the dish to Lindbergh results in two. Mohawks down by 10 now, 33-23. 1.23 to go, a lot of threes on the board. Right, Murray is just uh, layup after layup. No whistle that trip. Either way. Well, Murray can hit from outside as well. At least he earned that one. It's a triple. an unlucky bounce here, so Mohawks will take a timeout. 32 seconds left in the half. 38-23.
players coming out. Second buzzer for a Mohawk timeout. It is Coots Davis, Catalano, Hart, and Lindbergh. Your five Mohawks flying on the court right now. 32 seconds left. Wolverines can. That's up in the hands of Coots. for the words there, Zach. Just, just very quick to call the offensive foul at that side, but. Catalano with the three pointer. It was online, a little short, it's off the front rim. So we have reached halftime for Millis. And where I score is the Wolverines 40, Mohawks 23. And welcome back to Miller's Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics, where the players have taken a court for the second half. It is Coots, Catalano, Lindbergh, Fiala, and Hart, your five Mohawks flying on the court. And we are underway alongside Zach Gould and Doug Coots. We are high above the court side here at the Andy Merrick Gymnasium. Good second quarter for the Mohawks. As they held the Wolverines even, 13-13, scored by both squads. Not to get overly excited about. I know my fans expect a lot from excitement, but it hasn't been a ton here. Coots' drive results in no whistle, no basket. Good battle there by Catalano. So Westwood comes up empty. That's going to sail too high. A little wish and hope pass there. Mohawks with 12 turnovers in the first half. Westwood, 7. Mohawks 11 of 16 from the line as uh, Westwood committing 10 fouls, three of six for the Wolverines. Kyle Murray with 15, Russell Dalbany with seven, Michael Noon with six for the Wolverines who knocked down six three-pointers. Which is basically the difference in the two clubs right now, eight, 17 points-ish. Catalano will drive. Rattles in and out. I have Davis leading the Mohawks with six. Rebound from Cauley and he puts it up and in. So finish that off, Davis with six, Coots and Hart with five. Catalano with four. Draw some contact that it gets a whistle this time. Westwood seems content to have the Mohawks drive to their left. So Noon with his third personal foul. Then Davis will come back in for your Mohawks. And Hart can't get either to drop down. It's three of five from the charity stripe in the first half. Good spin move, back iron no, Catalano to Coots. Knocked down from behind. Official right there. Coots can't get that one to go. His foot on the line. Fiala back in for your Mohawks. Forty-four twenty-three. Catalano 
fighting through two. Players putting heavy pressure on him. Finally gets a whistle. Maybe that's the way to go. Just keep playing it physical until it gets called. Force them to pick and choose. That's a second foul on Dol Dolabany. That one is... Yifra and Weeman in for the visitors. Gets that to go, his first point of the second. So Weeman quickly getting into the box score by committing a foul. Jack Allen into the game. Third team foul for the visitors. sure why that's not a whistle and there is a whistle a third offensive foul needs to be given his space up there not sure what they're looking at down there third offensive foul called against the Mohawks that went charged to Halloran bench is incredulous I mean the I mean we're, we're seeing no argument from the players just from the coach so fourth team foul hard with the balls A timeout on the floor, 4.30 left in this second quarter. Wolverines up. Players coming onto the court after a Mohawk timeout. 44-24 is our score. Let's see if, uh, see what develops here. Back to pseudo live action. Oh, out of our purview, so foul charge to the Wolverines. Third foul on RJ Carley. Mug somehow gets it back to the rack and another whistle. Westwood just continuing with the physical play. Kyle Murray committing his actually his first personal. Westwood already at the limit, only four minutes into the second half. Sixth foul. Let's see if the Mohawks can make them pay at the line. Fiala used to be very good from the line. He drops his first point of the match. Matthew Fiala knocks a bolt down. So two for Fiala, 26 for the Mohawks. And Jack Halloran fighting with that one, gets his hands on it. Alternate possession to the Wolverines. Murray 
Kirby hasn't had to shoot too many from, from range. Two more to his resume. Holler into Davis. This shot is off the back iron, no. Say not enough Mohawks over there. Coots with the rebound, brings it out of traffic. And that ball is not going to get to its intended spot. So Murray, it's got to be his eighth or ninth layup. Zach is shaking his head. Left open in the corner. Davis gets a hand to it. To... A lot of helpers on the in the stands here. Nick Quinzani into the game for your Mohawks. Lindbergh as well with Catalano. Another foul. Westwood hasn't adjusted their uh, their physicality. So Lindbergh to the line. So Ifra with his first foul. Seventh team foul. Two fifty one left in the third quarter. Lindbergh gets the friendly roll. first points to the half. He has three. Low locks to 27. Good box out there by Hart at L. Well, it's not going to get there. And Lindbergh pokes it free. As Callahan was streaking through at speed. Fiala back into the game for your Mohawks. Scratch that at Carlson Cantoregi. Fiala taking a rest. Callahan is good off the offensive rebound. Lindbergh's foul line jumper tickles the net. Lindbergh has five. Mohawks to 29. That's definitely backcourt. Checking in for your Mohawks. Another foul on Ephra. Ball wasn't even in bounds. Not sure what the aggression was for there in a 20 point game. His second teammate. The Wolverines will have some tape to chew on here. Back iron, no. Cantor Reggie with the rebound. Just, just can't keep a handle to it. And a push off there and offensive foul. Ooh, uh, it's definitely a push off there as well. Well, apparently only offensive fouls called against the Mohawks tonight. A foul charged to Lindbergh. So Lindbergh. 
Pittsburgh will be charged with his second. Just some good defense there. Perhaps trying to even out the foul count, which is not how this is supposed to work. Ephra with his first points of the, of the game. Adrian Heredia checks in for your Mohawks. Again, I just thought that was some pretty good defense. Guanzani came to finish off the, the shot to make sure it didn't get to the rim. that time. A minute and change here in the third. Got a lot on to Quinzani. He knew what he wanted to do with it. His foot feet just didn't wait. Quinzani with the steal. With the pull up floater, and it drops down. Andy Hatch with his first points. Mohawks to 31. Mm, 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 mm. So Heredia now the beneficiary of that hard luck. Foul charge to him. I mean, Mohawks have been out of control at that end twice and had offensive fouls called. <laughs> Mohawks not giving up here. Mohawks can get the last shot here if they want. Briefly open, gets it to Heredia, to Hatch, to Quinzani. And a fourth offensive foul called against the Mohawks. This is unbelievable. A, f a fourth offensive foul. A Krista Berg night indeed. And that foul charge at Quinzani. Luckily for the announcer, we'll reach the end of the third quarter. So I score at the end of three. This is Wolverines 52-31. And welcome back to Millers Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. Players coming onto the court for the fourth quarter. is Fiala, Kutz, Catalano, Davis, and Hart. Your five Mohawks flying onto the court right now. Well, we needed a whistle there. So Fiala charged with that foul. There's so much size by the Wolverines. It's almost unfair. Coots all the way into the ground. Where's the whistle on this side? Not hearing it. Westwood certainly doesn't need the help with an enrollment of over 1,000 versus Millis's 333.
Fiala left open for three, back iron no. Hart battling two for the rebound to Catalano, quickly to Davis, just sneaks through his hands. Team fouls against Westwood. Mohawks quickly up to six to sort of even things out here. Three pointer from this side from Castavon is good. into the game, Andy Hatch as well. Something happened to Adam Hart, hopefully he's okay. Obviously unseen by the officials. Mohawks break the press, Quinzani to Hatch, his elbow jumper, his back iron, no. Good play by the Mohawks there, just wouldn't drop. So the fouls have definitely changed, but not necessarily for the fair. Catalano came away with it. We have some sort of whistle. Foul charged to Quinzani. So Halloran into the game. So fouls are just about back to even again. So maybe we'll get some fairness here. Savant hits them both. Westwood Lutz lot stronger this second half. Five for five from the line when they were three for six in the first half. 60 to 33. Fiala being ridden, finds Coots. His layup is up and it's good. Boots with nine. Nice assist there. Court press up 25 here. Five to go in the fourth. Zani Hassel finds Fiala. I mean, there's only so many offensive fouls we can have. For Going to have to go up. Fiala's heave at the buzzer. Shot clock is no good. Yes, why not? to throw this one in. Halloran 
into the elbow. Fiala will be shot ready, and he knocks down a three. So Matt Fiala with a three. He has five. Mohawks to 38. Defended by Hatch, Halloran with the rebound. Hatch will come through. Blocked, but gets it right back. Hatch again, still fighting for it. Gets it to Fiala. What a, what a sequence by Andy Hatch. He gets a hand to that rebound again. A little dramatics there. So Quinzani charged with his fourth. Just another hustle foul there. Send, sending Cole to the line for a pair. And it's just been that kind of night for the Wolverines. I've already discussed that the To Reggie into the game for your Mohawks. Cole gets them both. So the Wolverines will finally call off the dogs here, up by many. Didn't see the full court press last couple times down. Fiala with the turnaround. If this were NBA GM right now, it would be yell calling him on fire. So the fouls continue to pour in on the one side here. Lindbergh charged with his third. So Ifra knocks that one down. Heredia will check into the game for the Mohawks. First bucket is good. Pushes it to Mohawks bringing up Lindbergh to Hatch to Fiala. Grabbed momentarily there, and it's up and it's good. So Jacobson with his third. Fiala with the hoop and the harm. 19 fouls on both sides now. And Fiala is through. That's 10 for the for the 33. Mohawks to 43. Defended by Fiala, Hatch the rebound to Lindbergh, finding Fiala. Whip to Heredia. Lindbergh is shot off the dribble, it's no good. Two to go. Nice distraction here rather than whining about yet another three pointer is Timmy Ryan checking into the ball game for your Mohawks. Ready his elbow jumper is no, hatched to the ground. Westwood just continuing with the physical play down to the final 
Final whistle here. That's a good aggressive foul. Cole with his third. No shooting on defense. No shooting on defensive fouls like that, Zach. Otherwise, it would be two for every whistle. Simi Ryan with the shot from three. It's fouled. So Cole getting his money's worth on this shift. So Timmy Ryan to the line. Student section. Ryan's back iron. No, he'll have three chances though. And that one will drop down. So Ryan is on the board. Gets the shooter's roll straight up off that back iron and dropping through. And the third one will not drop. Ninety seconds to go here from the Merrick. Carlson Cantareggi comes over for the rejection. Return to sender. Wolverine still with eight. Hey, we haven't had a, a ton of excitement here. Got to take what we can get. That was a good defensive series. Results in a 32nd. Uh, Shot clock violation. That didn't change. Ball in the hands of Ryan. Radio steps into the trees. A lot of contact there. I guess we're done calling. Uh, got a home cooked dinner to get to. You can always drop it in the microwave. That's what I do when I'm late. get the rebound. Let's see what they do here with the shot clock and game clock. Only a few milliseconds off here. Oh, they will shoot. And why not? Another three-pointer. Wolverines to 70. Simi Ryan left open. His three-pointer is no good. That should march us down to the final buzzer. And it does, so a valiant effort by the, by the Mohawks against a much bigger and taller and stronger Westwood Wolverine side, but a good effort from start to finish from your Mohawks. But they fall here at the Merrick. So many thanks to the fine men and women back at the studio for making this possible. And for those here that allow us to be in the gym, thank you for watching Miller's Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics, where the visiting Wolverines have taken a 70-44 to victory over your Mohawks. Alongside Zach Golden, I am Doug Coots. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>